Okay, so the purpose of this video is to do the second part of our composition learning goal, which is let's solve some composition word problems. So in these problems, what we're going to have to do is write the two functions. When we were doing compositions, what we did was we had two different functions or three different functions. We had a bunch of functions, and then we started plugging them into each other and finding out what happens when we take something out of one and plug it into the other. So that's what we're going to do in these word problems, and we need to start off by writing each of the functions. Okay, so here's the situation. There's a store that is having a sale on everything in the store. Okay, they are going to take 12% off everything in the whole store. Okay. In addition, you walked in and they said you are the one millionth customer, so you can take ten dollars off of any item that you want. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a function that represents the sale price. And what I mean by the sale price is uh the twelve percent off, right? They're giving us a sale of twelve percent. Okay, so to figure out how much money we're going to spend uh, on our item after we take 12% off. Um, I'm going to do that work up here for you. What we're really going to do is we're going to do uh, the price, whatever the price of the item is, minus 12% of the price. Right? So when we want to take 12% off of something, we're going to say 0 0.12 represents 12%. Okay? I'm going to take the whole price. Like let's say, for example, an item costs a uh, dollar, or let's say $10. Right? I would say $10 minus 12% of $10, and I'm just going to subtract. Like this part right here, the 12% of P, 12% of the price, represents uh, what I'm going to save. So I need to remove that from the actual price. So I'm saying take the price, whatever it is, subtract whatever I'm going to save, which is represented by 0.12p. Okay? So an easier way of writing this, this is 1p minus 0.12p. And an easier way of writing that is 0.78p. Okay? So a nice way of writing this is if you take 100%, subtract off the 12%, subtract off whatever your discount is, in this case 100%, Minus 12% is 78%. If you take the 78% and you multiply it by the, the price of the item, that will tell you not what your discount is. That will tell you how much you're going to pay, the sale price. Okay, So that's what we're going to do. And I know that might be a little bit confusing. We're going to do another example, so you'll see another one in, in action. Okay, So in this case, I'm going to say that f of x, which represents, we'll, we'll use f of x to represent the sale price, that represent, is represented by 0.78% times the price, okay? Uh, which we have to make a little change here. If we're going to use p as my variable over here, we're going to have to use it on the left-hand side as well. So I'm going to say f of p, because that's what I'm going to plug in the price in for. Um, we're, so we're saying my function, whenever you plug in the price, what's going to come out is 78% of the price, and that's going to be the sale. Okay, So I've written a function that represents the sale price. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the coupon discount. This one's a little bit easier. We'll call this one g of p. Okay. My discount, I'm saying, okay, you have a discount for $10 off an item, so let's think about what would happen. If I was taking a $10 off the price, I'm going to take the price, I'm going to subtract 10. So let's write about that. That one's way easier. We're going to say take the price, subtract 10. So P minus 10. That represents, it's a function that represents taking a $10 discount off the price. Okay. So those are our two functions. One is a percentage off, and one is a, a straight discount. It doesn't matter how much money you spend. I'm going to take $10 off. Okay, so we've written our two functions. That's part one. Now they're asking us to uh, to do a composition of these functions. So the first one's saying, well, what happens if I give you the sale first? Right, we're going to take the percent off first, and then take the discount. And we want to write a function that represents that. So what we're really saying is, start by taking the sale discount. Well, the sale discount is f of p. So I'm going to say, all right, let's do f of p. Okay. And then when I get that answer, that's what I'm going to plug into the coupon discount. So I'm going to take the answer to f of p and plug it into g. So really what I'm going to do here is g of, well, f of p is 0.78p. 0.78p. Okay? So that's me, this now means go to the g function that we wrote right here, find p, there it is, plug in 0.78p. So my new function for taking the sale discount then the coupon is just 0.78p minus 10. Okay, so this expression right here represents taking the percentage sale first, then subtracting the coupon off. Okay, and so for the second one, it's actually asking us to do the opposite. It's saying first take the the coupon off, then once the coupon's gone, take that answer and take the percentage off of that. So this was so let's start off the coupon discount 
is g of p. So we're going to say start off with g of p. Okay, and then once you have the percent, I'm sorry, once you have the ten dollar discount coupon discount, take that answer, plug that into the percent off function, which we called f. Okay, so we are actually telling them what to do. Start with g of p, take that answer, plug it into f. So again, for us that would be it looks like f of 0.78. I'm sorry, f of p of p minus 10, right? So this is saying, okay, because I, I replaced the g of p with uh, p minus 10, which is what it equals, right? So now I'm going to say, go to the f function. Here it is, 0.78p. Plug in this expression. So here's where we got to be careful. This is saying, take 0.78 times whatever you plugged in, which for us is p minus 10. Okay. So if you notice, when I distribute here, this is now 0.78p minus, and if you do 10 times 7.8, you get 7.8. Okay, 7.8. Okay. So let's think about what this means before we answer the last question. Which one is the better deal if you go to buy a PS4 uh, for $425? This one's saying take 78% off the, or I'm sorry, what is 78% of the price? 0.78 times the price, and then subtract 10. This one's saying take 0.78 of the price and only subtract $7.80. Right. So answering their question down here before we ever plug in, it looks like all the time, every single time that you go to get a discount. Making sure that they do the uh, percentage first and then subtract the ten dollars, you're going to save money every single time. You're saving ten dollars here. You're only saving seven eighty off here because they did the percentage second, right? I'm sorry, they did the per, the the coupon first and then the percentage second. Yeah, right. So um, we're always going to save more money in this first option. But let's just show people that. Um, so we're going to go to this one and say, which is the better deal? Okay. So if I go to G of F of 425. Okay, let's find out what that comes out to be. This says go to the F function, plug in 425. So let me bring up my calculator. Okay, so I'll do that off to the side. You guys aren't going to see that. Okay, if I do F of 425, it's saying go to the F function, okay, and plug in 425. So that's that's uh, on a calculator. You can type this 425 times 0.78. That's what the F function says to do. Take 0.78 times the price. That comes out to be $331.50. Okay? So now we're doing G of 331.50. Okay? Now this says go to the G function, plug that in, 331.50 is going to be uh, 331.50 minus 10. Okay? So that looks like my final price, starting with doing the, uh, the sale for a discount and then doing the coupon is going to be $321.50. That's how much I'm going to spend on the Xbox with these two discs, I'm sorry, on the PS4, with these two discounts, starting with the sale, then doing the coupon. Okay, so let's uh, check out the other one. If I do the other direction and go instead, F of G of 425. Okay, well, G of 425 is the easy one. That says take $10 off. So this is going to be F of 415 okay and this says go to the f function which says take 78% 0.78 of 415 so again we can just kind of off to the side do that 0.78 times to uh, 415 okay 323.70 so this says 323.70 okay so if you notice when i compare the prices it makes a difference in what order we do discounts, right? I'm actually going to pay uh, a little about two dollars and uh, twenty cents less by having them apply the sale percentage first, then taking the coupon off, as opposed to doing it the other way around, right? So that's the idea with this: is uh, that the sometimes the order is going to make a big difference. The order that we do things is going to make a difference in what actually happens. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to do the second video. The second video will be available in class uh, as an extra problem, so it'll be recorded for you. But this is all you need to do, uh, and we'll continue with this in class.